Are we attracting or repelling the life that we want? You know, I've been struggling the last few days. Just being selfish, really. Anytime we run into issues, it's because we're being selfish. And we're really not doing the actions of the, the character that we want to play. So, you know, I deal with some things. And, and I've been sleep deprived with a newborn. <clears throat> and maybe that's cause of, you know, my low frequency state being so consistent. Because I'm maybe a little tired. I'm working a job that I don't love. I'm not winning in business. Uh, I lost four grand on Thursday in the market, uh, really to a scam. So I just feel these low frequency states right now that are super prevalent. And what those low frequency states bring into our being is a bunch of other attraction of low frequency states that lead into negative scenarios. So I'm fighting with my spouse, I'm embarrassing myself with the way that my anger is coming out uh, just for really being ashamed of of myself and then finding an excuse to outwardly project that energy, you know, onto her, about her family, about, you know, just the life that I'm living and all that I'm doing that really I feel like I'm not doing a lot, but I'm doing a ton. It's just not moving quick enough. So what I'm doing is repelling the actual life that I want, which is a nice, sound, positive, loving marriage, a nice, sound, positive, loving, hardworking character who is achieving the goals that he's after. And, and so I hope this makes sense to somebody listening that when we live, you know, we're really just energy exchange, whether it's a low frequency or a high frequency. You achieve high frequency states when you're proud of the character that you play. And you get these moments after the gym, after you get blood flow. You know, it doesn't have to be the gym. After you get an elevated heart rate from running or swimming or biking, whatever it is that you enjoy. I enjoy weights because I want a muscular physique. So I feel proud of myself after I finish a workout and I don't miss. So one thing that I do every day is make sure I work out. And right now I'm up all night with my son. So my routine is off. So I'm tired. I can't get to the gym in the morning. Um, I have to get right to work, right into my corporate job. Okay. And then you know, I have some issues, some underlying issues uh, from the past of really how I have treated myself and how I was treated, um, which have led into, you know, when I do get into these low frequency states of what comes out and, and, and where it projects to and, and how I could be right and make myself feel better. Because that's really all that we're doing when we react in anger or, you know, we, we project onto somebody else about, you know, how much we're doing and how much we're taking and how much you know, selfish, 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 selfish. So the only cure to the most common disease that we all face is selfishness. The only cure to that is love. And the highest frequency that we can possibly live in is love. And before love is acceptance. So it doesn't matter what situation comes at you, what you're dealing with, you know, especially if you want a big life, a very successful, full life, which none of these external things are really going to give you that fulfillment. No car, no house. You know, it's really just going to be the character that you played and how proud of you that you that you were of yourself by handling each day in the way that you see is the best way fit. But too many people out here, me included, uh, at times, you know, live our life in low frequency states that seem to not have a way out. But the way out is the high the, to get yourself back into a high frequency from a low frequency state. So like the last three days, I've just straight murked, you know, the people around me just by being angry at, at the circumstances, you know, but really I should accept and, and, and feel the blessings of what I get to do and what I have around me and who I have in my life, no matter what happened in the past. It doesn't matter, but it's just the excuse of being able to stay in that low frequency set to, to make yourself feel better about yourself, which is ultimately selfish. So I hope this is making sense because it just resonates with me so much. Every time I get mad, every time I come out of character, we lose moments of our life. And that Marcus Aurelius said that, you know, the only way a man can lose moments of his life is by breaking character. And I don't think any of us want to be that negative, you know, mean, just selfish 
person and there's too too much of that in our society to where people don't really care they eat what they want they get fatter they they spend money on stupid things so they get broker they lose money because they try to get fast money um and then they react out of anger because they don't feel good about themselves or they you know they just dive into the bottle or dive into a vice that ultimately makes their life worse than what it is so the way out of this is accepting the fact that you fucked up it, it, it didn't go the way that you wanted it to, but that's okay. It's not about us because really our, our end goal is building a big fulfilled life and the people around you saying that, man, I'm really glad that I got to be around that person. You know, I got, I, he made an impact on me to help me out of whatever situation that I was in. And this is the point. Of, of life guys like I, I figure you know I'm figuring this out day by day and it's it's moments you know we can sit here and I can talk to this camera and you know everything's good which it really is I mean life's really beautiful on my end um, I'm extremely blessed you know I just have some people in my life that the character that I have to take in and when I take in that energy I project it outwards and in, in ways that ultimately don't help me it doesn't help anybody around me and, and it doesn't help them so we've got to accept that those moments are going to happen and the only way to direct that energy positively is either with a workout or becoming the source of what you need. So you have to show love because you don't want hate, you don't want to feel down, you know, whether you think you do or not, it's that is a problem because ultimately none of us do. None of us want a negative scenario, none of us want a negative life and I just realize that really it's just my system, you know, repeating itself. And it's it's like life is just happening happening for us. It's not happening to us because if we think it's happening to us, we're always going to be in a low frequency because I mean, shit happens all the time. Life's hard, you know. We have to do things that we naturally don't want to do every single day. A lot of part of the day and the only way to get through this is accepting that we have to do these things and then going and putting that positive energy into each of these things that we have to do because if we don't it's not going to attract the actual things that we're after the love the freedom the financials all the positive things come from putting positive back out into the world and if we let all the negative shit and we focus on all the negative shit there's no way that we'll get it not for people who have to fucking work for it so i'm here taking this message in from the last three days of my life just sparking being negative all because of some other outward external person and being that i wasn't that wasn't doing what I needed. But what I need is to take that energy and hopefully help them come out of it because that would be what I needed. And then it would ultimately help them. And if they don't, it doesn't matter. You still win because you did what you needed to do to stay positive and keep attracting that life that you want. And that's all this comes down to. So too many of us are living too many moments after the other, year after year, month after month, day after day, where we start off positive or we get positive and then something hits or something comes in and you know it really just derails you and we have no way to get back out of it now i do for my program and this is part of my program of speaking and being honest here to help somebody else becoming the source of what i need and what i seek which we all need and then elevating our heart rate eating good sleep which sleep may not always be available it's not available for me right now, and I don't feel tired. I feel good because I'm doing what I love right now. And then I go back to my little job here that I don't like, but I'm appreciating and accepting of what it does for my family's life and what it will ultimately bring us in the future. But the character that we play and giving positive out and love out into the world is the only frequency that will attract the life you want. If you stay in a negative frequency of desire and just hate, and all this stuff, you're going to keep living the same miserable fucking life year after year. And this is what happens to alcoholics and addicts. The only escape is the addiction, the, de the desire of feeling different. And if they don't work a program, they'll never get out of it and attract that freedom from desire. Hope this helps.